quite a night this evening, folks. For those of you who have uh, decided to stay, I'm sure you're happy. Next we have the man who carries his own pipe organ and forte piano. He is Hayden Wayne. Sounds good. There you go, baby. Are you guys cool? Um, just give me a moment. 70 years ago. All right, we know how pissed off we are and how shocked the devolution doesn't even have a flight path. It's a rock rolling off the table. Well, the generation that was rightfully mantled the greatest. Crossfire from what would be the equivalent of millions and millions of dollars of architectural structure with these machine guns on a beach that where people would evaporate going through the crossfire. These young children of 20 years old or so getting seasick in landing craft come to this beach and represent the beginning of cojones standing up against fascism and ultimately breached the tide. Can we have a moment of silence? Thank you. Incredible heroism. I wrote this this morning. Have I not always come to thee as if the morning sun with sails so full from wind so stiff so wrongs can be undone? A howling gale can blow against the soul till eyes can't see. But just as well it pushes at my back and you to me. How fresh this breeze does blow with all its promise yet to come. How sweet its breath, the rich bouquet of scented lands it's from. And what of all the stars wind swept across the endless skies? And what of all the timeless souls so deep within your eyes? I cannot imagine life without you by my side. I cannot imagine breaking bonds because of pride. What I can imagine is two worlds becoming one and spend our lives entwined until our time is finally done. But is it ever over in this web of silken ties as we count upon the stars and cast our wishes towards the skies. For I too am a dreamer sailing through this endless sea, solar tossed on heaven's wings, which then brought you to me. Too often I have viewed the world aware I was alone, an angry self-afflicted hurt that I had to atone. I learned that all my world was only what I chose to be. The more I was aware to be aware that I was free. So now this seasoned sailor who has sailed celestial skies has found his lifetime journey has always been within your eyes. And as this dawn awakens with its light so warm and true, feel the winds against your back, for they've brought me close to you. Thank you. I wrote that for my wife, who I've been with for 25 years. Anyone who has been with a human being that long knows that there is a panoply 
of amazing emotions that accrue. But one thing I will say about my wife, I've never been bored. Um, this next piece I'm going to read, um, I was asked, uh, I will be performing at the National Earth Club in New York. Um, they threw us a, an incentive, turning a new leaf, and I'm going, turning a new leaf, okay, well. Turning a new leaf as a haberdasher for Adam and Eve, perhaps a fig leaf, depending on the size of the fruit. At least you don't have to worry about an inseam. Somebody's got to listen. If you don't know how to think, soon enough you will not. So, should I take it from a book or a tree? Or maybe a table. Ah, that's the rub. So many choices. Maybe it will spring as spring does, surprise me with the changes of life's renewal, helping forget the death that has numbed for far too long. And as I feel the ardor start to rush again within my veins, the fragrance of your being will fill me with rapture, so many scented flowers to capture as I hold you in my arms. For once upon, time stood. Still, as perfection does, but you have awakened what can no longer remain perfect, static no more, it moves, and you and I, with this now endless tide, are constantly turning, perpetually reborn as seasons change, as does this tree bear fruit, not once, but forever. Time is only time because of change, whether perfect within a singular nanomoment moment or the endless continuum of striving for perfection, which inevitably is just out of reach within the space of choice. This consciousness, this plucking of the fruit from paradise, has set us into motion. The leaves turn, covering something new, exposing something else that has always been, but nonetheless, always the more. So, Shall I cover the beauty of your perfection with the shame of my ignorance? Or shall the voluptuous innocence of our nakedness please our sensuality to explore endlessly all that is possible? Timeless is, as timeless does, the turning of leaves, of death and renewal, of things to pass and things to come, of you and I, of us as one, as leaves that turn and turn and turn and turn. Thank you.